I mean, uh, uh, Salahuddin Ali, Sajuddin, pardon me, Sajuddin Ali in Chicago, who is the father, a father-in-law of Muhammad Ali. He just passed. He passed yesterday morning at Fajr. Khalid passed uh, last night. You know. And these are people I grew up with, people I work with in the Nation of Islam and all, et cetera. And I know that time frame. You know, so I, I don't have all the time that some of you youngsters have. And not that I'm planning on dying. I'm, you know, I'm, I, I need, I, I got a lot I want to know. My mother's 94, and I told her, I said, Mom, I wish I can, I hope I got your genes, because my father died at 62. I'm 68. I said, I hope I got your genes, because I got a lot to do. <laughs> I did, I told her that. Anyway, here's my point. Here's my point. So when, you, when I come here to talk to you, and you tell me you got 20 minutes to talk, you know, I got 2,000 minutes worth of information to give you before I leave. But if you don't want it, fine. I'll get the hell out of here and find somebody in this country. <laughs> I'm telling you that because I don't have time to play games now. You know, Imam Muhammad told me, he said, you have to give this. You know, he said, he said, he said the reason why I do what I do like this, he said, because I have to give this before I see Allah and didn't finish my job. I feel like that right now. You know, Imam Shahai feels like that. We talked about this yesterday. You know, we, you know, the things are coming into us now. You know, we're maturing. I'm a student of Imam Muhammad. Uh, when I hear uh, Sister Kalima uh, and Sister uh, Nisa, and I hear Tari and Hani and uh, all, all, all the Imam was there, all of the young people. Man, I, I, I was so fired up. Like, Woo, I can retire. But I can't. I really, I was saying that I, I could retire. But I know I can't. Because it ain't enough for you. You know, my son right there, Omar, I'm waiting on him. I started working with him when he was out of the womb. I go, well, I didn't deliver him. I missed meeting him. But inshallah, let me, let me move on. I'm not, I'm not going to put you on the spot. Because this is conclusion here. Allahu Akbar, physical development. Allahu Akbar, mental development. Allahu Akbar, emotional development. Allahu Akbar, development of the king or the ruler that's in you. And so the, the attention control center, you know one of the meanings of the word control in Arabic is malik? Angels? Allah has put angels throughout the whole creation to, to control the forces in the creation because they work for him. The angels do. You see, so they, 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 they control all of the systems. You see, the system, the, so, uh, the solar system, the galactical systems, the air system, the water system. Allah has assigned angels to this. But the angels had to submit to you. That beer. Oh, good God Almighty. So it's, it's, it's wonderful when you understand this. That your prayers that you do did you do? Allah says, and he has made, uh, oh, thank you, 10 minutes, good. How many did he last? I did good, because that's the last, that's the last slide. <laughs> I really, where's Nadia? <laughs> I told you I could do it. <laughs> and uh, Anissa, where she at? I told you I could do it. How many uh, But Allah says in Quran that he has fatter the heavens and the earth. Alhamdulillah, fatur is some of what art. He has originated the heavens and the earth, and he has given it angels with wings, two, three, uh, two, three, and four. Imam Muhammad said, these are the rakahs that you do in your prayers. You do them in twos, threes, and fours. And that's why this world said the Muslims the Muslims, they have flying carpets. You know why they say that? Because you pray on a carpet. And it says also that, uh, uh, that uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, prayer is the ascension of the believers. Prayer is the ascension of the believers. You know what ascension is, don't you? And when Muhammad, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he made his ascension and he was on his way back down, who did he meet? about his prayers. Moses. He met Moses and Moses said, how many prayers did your Lord give you? 
He said, 50. He said, oh, man, go back up there and get them reduced because you're not going to be able to do that. Your community ain't going to be able to do that. He went back up, you know, came back down. He said, how many now? Oh, he gave him another number. You know, it doesn't say specifically, but he said, no, go back. He went back, he went back until he got down to five. Too many. Go back up and get those reduced. And Muhammad the Prophet him. Allah says of him that he was ashamed to go back and ask him to reduce it anymore. So Imam Muhammad said, so Allah took the five and made them like 50. You see. So even when you do your prayers, it's like 50 of them. Allahu Akbar. And if you get that CD of Imam Shu'aib and how he was dealing with Ramadan, oh man, this Friday, get that, study it. Very powerful, very powerful on the, the Ramadan is a bargain uh, for paradise. Ramadan, a bargain for paradise. Allah Akbar. Oh, man, I'm telling you. You need to get it and break notes on it and accept because that's what I got, you know. And if you didn't get the good one, you know, get one because the, the, where's he at? He said he fixed it. Oh, he said he's straight. He got him straight. Yeah, he's... Yeah. Yeah, go, go find him. Because when he told me that, I said, man, I'm bringing mine back to you, and I need a good one. <laughs> you ain't going to leave here. You ain't going to leave here and leave me a bummer. No. Uh, that's my good friend, Alhamdulillah. We've been friends for 40 years now. You know, Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah for this conference. Uh, uh, my good friend. Uh, and leader, Imam Wazi Ali. You know, he's my leader now. I come to here and I obey him. When he, he called me up and tell me what to do. <laughs> he does. He knows. I need you to do this. Yes, sir. I need you to do it. Yes, sir. Just like he did with me. I had no problem out of him. And I'm glad that I told him years ago, I said, right now we have a teacher-student relationship, but in time we're going to be colleagues. That's my colleague. He's advanced himself, you know, he's done, he's done, alhamdulillah, and he's produced others, others. And if we don't do that, then you just shooting blanks, as they say. You just shooting blanks. I did a talk one, one, man, uh, one time on how they put a probolactic on the brain for our community. You go get degrees and do nothing with the community. You're just shooting blanks and, and, and catch it, and it does not, reveal. no stores, no schools, no nothing. They ain't producing nothing. If you ain't producing nothing, you ain't a good family man. Yeah. You don't even have a family. You might, you might well be single. Well, I'm barren. Nothing is barren with Allah. Allahu Akbar. So praise be to Allah. We thank Allah. We ask Allah to forgive us our sin and grant us mercy. Oh, I got five minutes? Good God Almighty. Let me see what I can do in five minutes. You know, I'm, I'm getting too good at this stuff now. These PowerPoints, let me see if I have another one in there. I, I don't think I do. That's it. Now, alhamdulillah. You know, we thank Allah. You know, uh, I want to say this to you all. That work hard to get to Quran. Work hard to get to Quran. Allah says, Sunukri ukefalatensa illa masha Allah. And He will teach you so you will not forget. He will teach you so you will not forget. Sanukriyuka is from the word kara'a, which means to read. But it also means to teach, to proclaim. He will teach you so you will not forget. You see, how many of you have forgot how to use your eyes? You can see me, right? What about your ears? What about your breath? You know how to use the washroom. Allah taught you how to use the washroom. Everything you got under you was done in the womb physically that you have. Now he's teaching you now. Submit. Obey God. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan Mubarak. Alhamdulillah is indeed a pleasure as we prepare for Imam Yahya Abdullah to come up next. If you sit back and think we have three generations from our community making presentations this weekend, 
and there's no let there's no let off. Everyone is high quality presentation. Where's Kalima? Is she in here? Okay, Kalima. So, okay, can you come out for a second? I'm going to ask your assistance. In November, Meshid Wadathadim Muhammad, inshallah, will host as many of Imam Muhammad's students that was in class with you, Kalima, in that special class, as many of them who will agree to come, we want to host them here in Houston for a special conference of, of, of those who spent eight years in the direct training of Imam Wadathadim Muhammad in that class. And most of them are the generation below us. So you are the third generation of Muslims. So, so, so a conversation with, 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 with the third generation of students of Imam Wadathadim Muhammad. And for those who need technical language, a students with a, a conversation with the tabi'een from the community of Imam Wadathadim Muhammad, inshallah. So, 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 so I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, you know, they say if you come to Houston too, too many times, I put you to work. So now, now you are officially put to work, inshallah, in helping us organize that conference. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Second point, thank you. Second point, Malik. If this was a, if this was a business conference, how much would you have to pay to come? How much? At least. When I go to professional conferences, I have to pay $500. $500 to hear a whole bunch of people talking to sound good. Right? There's no charge today, but it's not possible without donations. So if you're doing well and Allah has blessed you, you have a little money in your pocket, make a contribution, make a donation. If we had Ibrahim come out in community center, we could run simultaneously and we could give each speaker two or three hours and then flip, right? And so that Imam Qasim wouldn't have to say, you give me 20 minutes, I'm going to go someplace else. We could, give him, we could give him four hours straight, inshallah. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> and, and not only that, when we have the right sponsorship, we could also give them four or $5,000 when they leave. And that's the goal. And that's the hope, inshallah. So make a donation on your way out to Ibrahim Kamaldin Community Center and also to help cover the expenses. The vendors. I was so pleasantly surprised to see Imam Tyree has CDs. Sister Anissa has CDs. Imam Fahim, Imam Yahya, Imam Qasim. Before you leave, if you don't do anything but buy one CD from each of them, just go buy one CD. If, if, if you're rolling, you got a good contract, you got a nice deposit in your check, go buy one of everyone on the table. But if you, if you can't go buy one of everyone on the table, at least buy one CD from each one of them. Because I was in, I was in Oakland with Imam Fahim. I was the only speaker that weekend. He, he invited me down because he does a re retreat, in the, I mean, a Ramadan session, the last 10 days of Ramadan, where he invites different scholars in. And he made a point. He said, These, the, the other speakers that people look to, part of the reason they can be productive is because they have the proper support. He said, they're not smarter than us. They can't produce more. They just have a different level of support. So we want to make sure that we support our teachers. We want to make sure we support our imams and our scholars. And believe it or not, sometimes that one little, that, that, that 10 CDs that you buy goes a long way. So please make the support, inshallah. So thank you all for coming this week. And I'm going to call the MC back up so we can move on with the program. Peace. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, alhamdulillah. Ramadan Mubarak. I hope that you're enjoying yourselves. Uh, thus far, I mean, I know it's later in the day, and uh, usually about this day, this usually after about the four o'clock mark, I'm usually a little fatigued, 
I'm, I'm a little challenged by the, the